It's on my Creative Week page. It's foolish that you do that. Okay, I think we're online on Facebook. And I think we're live on YouTube. Test the chat. I don't see anything. There we go. Uber delay. <laughs> <laughs> on my there we go or on the chat? From like type to you seeing it. It's like at least 15 seconds. Is that Facebook's fault? A problem. Not good. All right, guys. Who we got? Who we got? We got Alex. Hey, yo. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to our live paint party. So my name is Marina. I'm going to be your host for this evening, and I'm joined here by my fiance Alex, as oh. always. Hello, hello. Mic check, check one two. Lena's so if in the house. Lena's in the house, welcome Lena. With Yelena. Yelena's in the house. So let me switch my cameras. So tonight we're going to be doing this painting called Dancing in the Moonlight. Alex did not name this one, clearly. I think it shows. <laughs> I think it shows. That's just I don't fun. know, I don't know. That's just fine though. Um, so this one is really fun. It has a limited co color palette. It's a little bit on the moody side, um, but it uses a lot of values of blue. So you're really gonna learn how to shade and use different gradients, which is gonna be super fun. So I'm just gonna remove this. Put it over here. Um, so I'm giving you guys 10 minutes to set up, grab your drinks, set up your supplies, do whatever you need to do, and we'll start around 8.10. Let's do it. And, <laughs> and in the meantime, oh, Jana's on. In the meantime, nice guys, chance. say hi in the chat. Let us know where you're from. Jana's on. Hello, Nicole. What am I drinking? Drink. Okay, let me go over my supplies and I'll tell you what I'm drinking. Well, actually, you'll tell me what I'm drinking because I don't I'm not know. Tell you anything. I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be a surprise. It'll be a riddle. It'll be uh, a game. So it'll be like one of those game shows where I have to guess. Do I get yes. a prize? Okay, so we have our twelve by twelve canvas. Okay, this happens every time. I thought we were getting in like 10 minutes. No, no, no. You need to do the checks. Already? I'm going over the supplies. All right, let's do this. <laughs> delay. Everything is delayed. Yeah. Facebook is delayed. Alex is delayed. Oh, that's just... <laughs> okay, we have our 12 by 12 canvas. Check. We have our two sheets of palette paper. Two sheets. Hard check. We have our five colors of paint. Five colors. So All we check. have a very bright blue today. Black, white, red, and yellow. So we're actually not going to be using the yellow for this tutorial, but I encourage you guys. But maybe. Yeah. But maybe. But maybe. So I encourage you guys to do your own thing. Use the colors that you want. So if you want to put in a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, orange, you can use yellow for that. And then we also have our water with two brushes. Check and check. A little delay there. Paper towels. Need to get them. Check. Is that it? I think that's it. And then last but not least, we have our adult beverages today. What so tonight got? we're doing something a little bit different. So I have a little sampler of three different kinds of whiskey that Alex has poured for me, and I have no idea what they are. They can't see them. Do they you want to? I'm just going to move them over here which you can't see anyway. Can, uh, a little bit, a little bit. 
I know it's Tuesday, but you know, it's it's been a tough week. Hey, even Drake said going up on a Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, Alex, can you go over what's inside Absolutely of each not. one? You haven't tried them. You have I know, but I need to. to I need to know. You don't need to know. I think it's better if you don't know. And I know then, that um, Yam, Yamasaki is in one of them. Do you? Let's see if you can guess which one is that one. I think it's the darkest one. This one in the middle. Is that your final answer? Yes. If that is your final answer, you would be incorrect. What? Okay. <laughs> Eden says you're going hard today. I respect it. You have to, you know. It's Tuesday. Tell me. And Alex, what do you have? I have the Yamazaki 12. On that. Email. I feel like you've done that before. Uh, you're not changing it up. You know, it's one of my more favorite of the Japanese whiskeys. Oh, there's more than one that you have? Of the I, Japanese whiskeys. Well, there's lots of Japanese. I mean whiskeys. that you that you own that's in this I think cabinet so, yeah. right there. I, I think I see at least two to three. Okay. okay. We're a man of the world, culture. You know how it is. I know how it is. Hi Maya. Hi Ina. Hi Yana. <laughs> Samples of paint and whiskey. It's always a good combination. And I do have a water right here, which I'm going to try not to, to mix up. To cleanse the palate. I was actually going to ask you, is that what you use? No. To cleanse the palate? What do you use for whiskey? Maybe a cracker. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, think I mean, just, water does, like, is a good cleanser, but, like... I think water is supposed to be a cleanser, right? Do you remember what we had at the I was just, factory? I was just going to ask you that. I think it was water. Was it, like, a sorbet? like a, a natural like sour lemon sorbet like unsweetened it doesn't ring a bell well, you know, <laughs> there was a lot of whiskey going face. around this would be my shock face hi emily hi santa welcome guys so we are just getting set up here we have about two more minutes before we get started so if you guys have any questions just um, message me in the chat and I'll be happy to answer. Yana, Yana says cleanse the palate with more whiskey. That's a, she's I mean, she's right. She's got the idea. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so should I start left to right? Or what's what's your... It's a you dealer's be, choice situation. Yeah, so we were actually taught in a whiskey factory that when you do the tasting, you have to open your mouth to smell the flavors, and it looks really silly when you do that. But I'm I'm, I'm kind of facing forward, so they're not going to see it, which is good. But I'm opening my mouth right now to smell it. It's like a self-wafting. So flavorful. That one's especially light color. I like it. It's very smooth. Do you know which one which one this is? It's that one. It's that one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't remember the name. Are you pointing? I know exactly which bottle it is. It's it's that it's the light it's the uh, light colored label Japanese one. Oh something Tozaki. <laughs> That's all I saw. <laughs> Maya is oh Maya, so not all the same. No, no, no. So Maya, I actually sent you two different sets of paints. So one of them we're trying out in our Creatively box. They have uh, new c containers. So I sent them to a few of my favorite people um, to make sure that they don't spill while they're shipping. So I hope they made it in one piece. Definitely let me know. So you could use either one of them. But a few people have told me that the new ones are their favorites. So that's good to hear. And Jean, that they made it in one piece. Jana has a snake on the loose. <laughs> it's 
scary. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are about to start. So if you've just joined, we just finished our setup. Um, please say hi in the chat. If you just joined, let us know where you're from. Let us know what you're drinking. All right, Alex. If it's should your we... first time painting. If it's your first time painting. Oh, my God. I can't believe you almost forgot to ask. <laughs> Well, there's time. We have a lot of time together. That's true. All right, guys. So, so we are going to take our large brush and we're going to hold it up in the air. And we're, like, just and we're going to start yeah. off with a pledge. So just repeat after me. I promise. <clears throat> I promise. To have fun and relax. To have fun and relax. You always do that. Absolutely. To not judge my painting. To not judge my painting. Or the painting of others. Or the painting of others. And to be fearless. And to be fearless. This is so good. Let's cheers. cheers. Are we gonna are we gonna cheers? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's a Brooklyn soda? Brooklyn soda, please tell me more. KSS. What what is that? <laughs> I've never heard of it. I've never heard of that either, but that sounds really intriguing. And you claim and to it be might a be, Brooklyn gal. It might be like Coca Cola, you know, but it has a new new, new name to it. Who knows? You think it's Coca Cola? Maybe. Is I don't know why. I just answer? I just put my brush back into the water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna start off with a large brush. Here we go. We're gonna mix blue with white and create a very light blue. So I'm just going to take some blue, I'm going to take some white, I'm going to mix them together and get a beautiful light blue color. Oh, you guys can see that, perfect. And we're going to start off, actually we're going to start off with a horizontal line marking our horizon. So I'm going to do it about two thirds of the way down and it doesn't need to be neat or anything like that, I'm just going to draw a horizontal line. And I so think my color is, yeah, about two thirds down. All right, so Brooklyn soda is a ginger ale, apparently. So I was close. I, I knew that it was a, one of the sodas that you we know. You were definitely closer than I. I will give you that one 100%. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take our light blue color and we're going to draw a circle in the top right of the canvas. So this is for your moon. So you guys are free to make it as big as you want or as small as you want. And also if you want to do a half moon or a quarter moon, you're welcome to do crescent. that as well. A crescent. Yes. But we are going to do a full moon here. Are we going like full harvest moon? Like, yes. Uh, like a big guy? Yeah. I like it. And also it does not need to be perfect. We'll fix it later. Okay, so then, and I'm nervous to say this because Alex is really hungry right now, um, oh, but we're gonna we're gonna do a donut shape around this moon with our light blue color. So we're just going around it going in a around. circle. Just like that, and it could be messy. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's actually better if it's messy, right? Always. We're supposed to be fearless, right? We are. And the good thing about acrylic paint is that you could change anything you want. Even if you mess up, you could just paint right over it. So there's really no such thing as messing up. You know what I'm saying? That concept is very difficult for me. Why? <laughs> okay, guys. So we don't even need to wash the brush, which it's is going right in. yeah, because we're using one color. So I'm gonna take the blue, and I'm not gonna mix it into the white this time. I'm just gonna take the straight up blue, and I'm gonna make another donut shape around this one. But I'm gonna go right into my first color, and kind of blend them together a little bit. Do you so just, just going, mix like a little bit on the borders or are you just going right in there? I'm kind of going right in there because we're being Is fearless. It a -for -all? Yeah, and if you went in there too much, which I, I think I did that. 
you can um, you could up. always yeah you could always go back with the original color but you're gonna have to wash your brush or actually no you don't because you could just add white to it so, so you yeah you don't have to wash like your brush yet so I'm just going in here and I'm just painting around and I'm also using circular strokes for this and I'm kind of just blending the two colors So it's this nice glow from the moon that we're creating here. It's like a very soothing blue. Really? It's, I think it's called fluorescent blue, <laughs> which does not sound very soothing. You just made that up. That's the name of the color, I think. You maybe I just, just maybe I just made that you up. Yeah, they just made that up. That was convincing, though. You it, said was? it was? Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do another circle around this and we're going to use more of the darker blue. So I'm just going in here and I want it to be a little bit darker. Can you guys hear the brush strokes? Can you? Can you? I can. Okay. Can you? I'm sure you can. I don't know. I feel like the microphone picks up on this. So it's creating this really nice gradient of medium blue to a lighter blue. we are we're going into darkness right now so we are actually gonna add a tiny bit of black to your blue to create an even darker color but just literally just just a smidge like the, the smidge smidges. smidge i don't know why i said like a smidge smidge. smidge is a good word <laughs> just a, a smidge word. so it's mostly the black is really strong so it's you're probably going to need to use a lot more blue to still keep it looking like a dark blue so here's my color if you guys can see that if you made it too dark you could always just lighten it up so then we're gonna go around again but this time it's kind of like a half circle because we already don't have enough canvas so it's it's no longer a donut half circle half circle ish a crescent no, no? Isn't the crescent like the quarter, the little, the side, the little sliver? I think it's the, the little sliver. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so isn't that what we're doing right now? A little I sliver? I wouldn't quite say it's half. But yeah. And you guys could use a little bit of water just to blend it a little bit more. Okay, is it time to try the second one or not yet? Should I cleanse my palette? Yes. Delayed responses. Sorry, I was, there was a small moment of panic. You were multitasking, why? My computer exited the stream and I had to go back in. Hold on, you tried a different one just now. I tried a different one. Oh, this one's a lot stronger. How do you feel it's about warming, that guy? It's warming the heart. How do you feel about that guy? That little guy? How do you feel about <laughs> that little guy? <laughs> it's causing me to cough a little bit. <laughs> that one has a little burn to it, huh? It has a little burn. So that one's a special edition McAllen. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Okay. 
So guys, you see how these colors, they're not really blended in very well. It's just, it's kind of abrupt one color to the next. So I'm just gonna take my brush, dip it into the blue and just add it in between here. So that way it kind of blends better. And you see how it's blending much better here? Tricks of the trade is what I'm That's say. right. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So if yours isn't blending well, then just go back in with your previous color. Is it just a touch of blue, like a little bit of paint? Um, I kind of, I kind of dipped it right in there. Kind of, okay. Yeah. Kinda mess a little bit. And then you could also go back in with your lighter blue as well. Do I need to? I'm, I'm debating whether I need to. I feel like I, I, I'll do it. Why not? Feeling extra so, fearless. Yeah. And guys, feel free to add other colors to your sky if you want to add a little bit of pink, if you want to add um, any other color that you want. Um, this is your time to do it. I was about to dip it into the yellow. Okay, so I'm going to add some lighter blue. And I'm just going to go right into this blue. And just blend it in a little bit. Okay, that, that actually looks more blended. So I, I, I recommend you guys do what I just did. Okay, so then I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna use just the blue and I'm gonna go into the darker blue with this. Ooh, Whoa. that whiskey was very strong. Whoa, <laughs> did hello. You, did you hear that? Hello. I'm gonna have to edit this out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going in with the blue color right into the darker blue. And the same thing, guys, if it's not blending well, then just go in with the previous color and just blend right in and don't be scared to go right into the other color. It's a little intimidating at first. And I'm going right into the horizon line because I'm going to cover it up anyway so it doesn't really matter because we're fearless like that because <laughs> that's right you can't steal my lines it's a pledge So just make sure guys that your paint is thick enough that it's covering the canvas so you're not really seeing any white. Interesting. Awesome. Okay, I'm scared to take another sip of this one. Is this the strongest one or is the third one? Who knows? You're like not not helpful. Okay. Let's see if you can guess what this <laughs> one is. Okay, this one is the Yama Yamazaki. Ding 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 ding. Correct. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> no breaks i'm gonna go right into this blue color and i'm gonna go into it with a lighter blue so just make sure if you have black in your brush it's better to just wash it so that way you're not getting this gray bluish color so i'm actually i'm gonna i'm gonna wash my brush just in case do you you like really wash it not not the the, the quick 
Um, it depends. It depends if you in have. And it depends if you have the black color in your brush. I don't have it anymore, so I just gave it a quick, quick rinse. So now I'm gonna take there. some white and some blue, and I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter than this color, and go right into it. And I'm gonna actually finish up my sky with this color. It's almost like an ocean cyclone. Cyclone? Yeah. I said it's moody. I was right. Could be. So I kind of covered up my blue strip, so I'm gonna go back in with the blue and try to fix it. The horizon or the retirement? No, 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 so right here. You see how it's very abrupt? So I'm going back in with the other color. Very. Very abrupt. Very abrupt. And you guys could add more water just to blend it a little bit more if you need to. I'm not really using a lot of water in mine. And you guys can continue blending your sky until you're happy with the gradients that you have there so i'm just gonna fix mine a little bit i feel like i put a little bit too much of the light blue in here so i'm going back in with a darker blue and now it's much better blended Alex, is it time for a refill? So, you know what? That was a call out. I felt like that was a harsh call out. You know I have to. How's everyone doing with their sky? Are you guys ready to move on to the moon? The stars are a little bit later. You're That's gonna have to wait for it. That's on you, right here. You know what the heart call out is. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna wash my brush completely because now I'm gonna use white. So I want my brush to be super clean. Just white. Just white for the moon. And I'm gonna. Just dip it into the white and I'm gonna color in the moon. So this is where you could make your circle either bigger or you know a slightly different shape. If yours doesn't look like a circle anymore, you could fix that shape. I can't tell because I'm at an angle, so it might be a weird shape. And I'm also gonna make it a little bigger because why not? It's your moon, and you will make it as you want, right? That was, yeah, that was wonderful. It's profound. <laughs> Dare one say? This is a very serious moment to make it into a nearly perfect circle. It looks good. It looks good on my canvas, but when I'm looking <laughs> onto the, the video, it just it just looks ridiculous. Like, we're gonna have to fix it. But it looks it looks so good on here. I don't know what what's happening. It, it's the Facebook delay. That, that, 
sex on. Maybe. It looks wonderful. It looks wonderful. Okay, just uh, don't make me laugh because this is very... This is serious business. Okay, so one side looks okay, the other one is a little bit... A little bit lopsided. A little like, hey, what's happening? Okay, so now it looks crooked on here, but on the video it looks okay, so I think I'm just going to leave it. Gonna, you got to go with one. <laughs> with one of us. You can't keep going back and forth. Okay. That's going to have a moon the size of the whole canvas. Okay. This looks this looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it there. There's a moon. Hmm? And there's a moon. So then I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm gonna create a few craters. You ready? Fascinated. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dip my brush into the blue and I'm just gonna create some dots around the moon. So don't be nervous because it's gonna look very drastic but we'll go back into it with the white and we'll kind of blend it in so i'm just gonna take the brush i'm just gonna make are you pressing down some hard craters at all, oh, or just, just like dabbing but not that it's like just the pointy tip no i'm like kind of putting it yeah bit. i'm kind of pressing it down a little bit okay. i'm kind of just going around the edges of the moon and then in the middle a, a little bit and then just leaving some gaps. That looks ridiculous. That looks like your moon's been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm just going to go back into it with the white. It's going to be a dangerous question, but have, have you seen Transformers? Have I, which one? One, two, or Any of them? six? Does it matter? How many are? I've seen the first one. The second one I think was really bad. No? Yes. Yeah. Okay. One of the last ones Where had, are you going with one this? One of the last ones has like the moon kind of being blown up from where being crashed into and cratered. Wait, the first one or no, one of the bad the, ones? One of the last ones. Okay, so I haven't seen it. Definitely not. So you're saying that it looks like my moon right now? Not at all. I don't know why you would insinuate that at all. So I'm just going in here with the white and kind of blending it in. And guys, if your paint is too wet and you're going in with the white but you're still getting this dark blue, just let it dry a little bit. You could... Go back to the moon later on once the paint is dry. So that way, once the paint is dry, it's really it's gonna be really easy to cover it up with the white. Right, Alex? And then I'm using pretty thick paint. I'm not even mixing it with water at all. And I'm just dabbing it with the white to kind of blend in. Any advice for someone blue. who's using watercolors? Ooh. I actually don't paint with watercolors. It's so different. The blending is, is like a lot Is Yelena right? on? Yelena's a watercolor artist. Yes. San, Santa. No, I, I know, but I'm, I'm asking whether Yelena's on because she could oh. comment on the watercolors because she's a watercolor artist. Perhaps. But with watercolors, you're obviously you're using more water to blend the two colors together. How was that for an answer? That was awful. <laughs> Didn't really answer much. <laughs> <laughs> Just use more water. Just do the opposite of what we're doing. See, and I you... think the point is we feel your pain. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, if you guys covered up too much of your craters, you could always go back in with a blue to add some more. So there we have our moon. Ina is asking me if my whole family is 
artist. My two sisters, yes. My mom has... Some are, my mom is actually on right now, so I have to be careful. My mom has artistic ability. Unitica. Jeans. It's all in the jeans. Okay, so the watercolor question was... It really wasn't a question. Just, do you have any advice for watercolors? So if someone is if someone is painting with watercolors right now, what would be your advice to them? Okay. How's everyone doing? Should we move on? Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my large brush. And now we're gonna do the water. So I kinda, kinda covered up my horizon a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take the white. I don't know why I just washed my brush because I was using white already. <laughs> Extra thorough. So I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna go into here with horizontal strokes all the way down. So you're actually not really gonna see it on the canvas because it's also white, but it's, I, I promise it's there. So I'm just going here with white and creating a layer. That theory is, that always fascinating, like putting white paint on a white canvas. It's like, I know, why wouldn't you just but you kind of like not paint it. I know like because a, you see the texture of the canvas, yeah. you know, no, you don't see the texture sense, of the it's paint. Just like, you know, Okay, so now that you have your white in here, I'm going to go in with blue. And I'm actually, I'm going to try not to wash my brush, but I'm going to see what happens. And I'm going to go in horizontal strokes for the water. So I'm going right into the white. And just don't worry about getting right into it because you could always add more white if you cover up too much of it. So I'm just using more blue and I'm going into the white and I'm leaving this strip of white right underneath the moon. So that's the moon's reflection. And I'm also going to cover up the other side. And this is where I can define more of my horizon because I kind of covered it up a little bit. Wow, that's answer. okay. Do you want to read it? I absolutely do not. <laughs> do you want me to? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So for watercolors, essentially backwards method to acrylic, thinking ahead, which parts need to be white or lighter because once you put them in darks, you can't add white over them. What if you just add a little more color? I'm sorry, a little more... Uh, Wait, are you reading or are you asking a question Both. in the middle of the... Also, don't expect watercolor to react like acrylic. Let them blend into each other and bleed. And the end result will be more organic. Nicely done, Elena. So I'm just covering up more of my canvas with the blue for the water. Jean and my business. <laughs> <laughs> that was really aggressive. You. I'm sorry. <laughs> So now my horizon is a little bit lopsided. So I'm gonna have to 
redefine it a little bit. So I'm actually using the tip of my brush on the canvas to create these lines that are going right into the white. So it's kind of blending in. So I'm going right into the white covering and covering it up. And even if you cover up all of it, you could bring the white back. So actually, I'm going to go a little bit rogue and I'm going to do more of the white here, but cover it up on the bottom. So that way it looks like the reflection is really shining from the moon where the moon is placed. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, so it's going to be concentrated here and then it's going to fade out a little bit. And I just want to make sure that I'm covering the actual canvas with the blue. So I think I covered up a little bit too much of the white here so it kind of looks just like a vertical line so I don't want that so I'm going to go back in with the white and make it a little bit more I don't know what the word is for that just make it a little bit less symmetrical okay so I'm going to wash my brush because I'm going to use white Okay, so I'm going back in with the white and I'm also using the tip of my brush on the canvas so it's creating lines instead of thick strokes. There's a question. Oh, hold on. How did I do the inside of the moon? Okay, so I used blue with my small brush and I just dabbed little dots around the moon and then I went back in with the white and covered most of it up so the blue kind of blends in with the white. So I could actually <laughs> demo it again. So I just went in with my brush, just did these dots around the moon and then I covered it up with the white. So I washed my brush again. And I just went back in with the white and just covered up most of it so it just blends in more. Also just dabbing. Just dabbing. Actually created it. Hmm? Extra created. Yes. So now I'm just going back in here with the white and I'm doing horizontal strokes here just so um, the reflection is a little bit stronger in the middle of the water as opposed to just being um, going all the way down. So that's actually not in the original painting, but. Since you guys are with me today, why not? Why not experiment a little We're bit, right? We're going with the flow. Yeah. We're going with the flow. You know, let me know if you have any other questions about the moon or if it's working for you. I 
Catherine. Hi, Catherine. How's everyone doing with their else. water? We're about to get to the most fun part. Okay. Do you know what that is? I'm trying to decide if that's the, the tree or the mountains. It's it's neither. I just. Do you have another I, guess? I don't want to play this game anymore. It's the stars. The stars. There you go. There you go. got it. All right, guys. So it's about to get a little bit messy. So we're actually going to use two. So there's actually, there's a couple of ways to do this. This splashing the stars. So the first way I'm going to show you is my favorite way. So we're going to take two of the brushes. We're actually going to wash them really well. I might need to get up for this, for this moment. It's like that, huh? It's like that. It's like that. So I'm going to take the large brush and I'm going to put some white paint on it. How much? Um, enough. What, do, do you cover just the tip? No, you, I'm covering just the tip of it. Okay. And I'm going to dip it a little bit into the water and just rinse it out just a little bit. So I'm actually going to practice on my, on my palette paper first because I want to see how it goes onto the palette paper before I move it onto the canvas. So I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm just gonna hit my large brush with it. So I'm gonna do this here. And it's gonna be really loud on the microphone, but I'm gonna see what happens. So actually no paint is coming out, so I'm gonna use more white paint and I'm gonna use a little bit more water as well. And then I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, so I just have to hit it a little bit harder. Okay, so this is good. So I'm going here now. Oh, it's actually, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have to hit it a little bit hard. And it's okay if it gets into the water part because the stars are, could be reflecting in the water as well. So this is one way. So another way gives you a little bit more control, but it's a bit, it's a little bit more messy. So you just dip your brush into the white. I'm also gonna dip it a little bit into the water and I'm gonna use my finger to flick it. So also just practice on your palette paper first before you go onto your canvas, just so you could get the feel of it. And this one kind of gives you a little bit more control. Let me know in the comments which method you prefer. I want to try this one. Like and you guys can... What? I feel like this is more gradual. One. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends. But also it gives you a lot more stars, but they're teeny tiny. The other one is a little bit more aggressive, yeah, I think. You can't see every star in the galaxy. Some are further away. Yeah. So you guys could try it out both ways and see which one you like more. I just, I don't know what to do with this after, you know? Do you have to go wash it? Of course you do. Or that's I don't why know you have about a smock, that. right? You just wipe that's it why you have a smock. You'll just wipe it against your smock. Check. Do you dip your finger in the water? No, why? To wash it? Yeah, you get some pink of it. That's okay. So you guys could continue going crazy with your stars as many or as little as you want. And then I think when you're splattering this, you could get some really cool shooting stars as well. shooting stars so I got a little bit in the water but that's okay that looks kind of cool actually I actually don't think I have any in my original painting not very prominent no but also if you got too many stars in your water you could always just let it dry a little bit and then go back into it with the blue
So I'm just gonna put this middle whiskey <laughs> onto the side, uh-huh. and I'm gonna have the third one. It's a little, it's a little strong. It makes me cough. McAllen get has some bite to it. It certainly has. But it, it warms, it warms the heart. It's crazy we've only been using one color so far. Yes. But look at all the variations that we got. Hashtag art. (laughs) Okay, guys. So I'm going to take my large brush again. I'm just going to wash it. I'm going to use a light blue. So pretty much the same color that you started with. And we're now going to do the the mountains. So you're just going to create a curvy line above the horizon. So it's just going to be, and it's, it's barely visible just because you're pretty much using a very similar color to what you already have. So just some hills, maybe three or so, maybe four, I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to do it beneath those hills for a second layer of mountains. Maybe there's a mountain here. I'm just making it up. There's a mountainous region. It's a little mountainous region. It is a mountainous region. And then you could do a third layer if you want as Um, well. And you could actually do another layer on the top if you want. <laughs> so then I'm going to start coloring in the layer that's above my first layer. And I'm just going to color it in with that light blue color. Maybe here. And I could always change up the shape a little bit if I want it to be um, slightly different. Maybe over here. And I'm going to go in now with the blue and I'm going to blend it right into the white. And it doesn't need to be neat because the mountains are very textured and bumpy and it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. So I'm going to do the same thing for this mountain. And if your color is not blending, you could just use a little bit of water to blend the two. And I'm going to use some over here. So kind of, I can't really tell what's going on right now, but I'm going to do it. Something's going on, on. but I'm going to do the mountains that are closer to me and then it's all going to come together eventually. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the tops of the mountains first. And then I'm going to do the bottom. So now it's kind of coming together more or less. And then you guys can play around with your blues. So if, for instance, you want 
lighter colors at the top, you could add more white to the tops of the mountains just to blend it on a little bit more. So this mountain is in front of this one. So I'm going to add a little bit of the dark blue behind this one just to give it some more depth. So I'm just going to take my blue color and I'm just going to add it here. So that way this mountain stands out more. And then the same thing here, this mountain is in the back, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the blue here. And then the same thing here, this mountain is in back, so I'm gonna add a little bit of blue here as well. And maybe I'll add a little bit of water just to blend it in a little bit better. So you just could keep playing around with your blues and seeing what works, what doesn't. You could always cover it back up with a different variation of blue. Right? Yes. So Kristen is asking, is this video available afterwards? Yes. So it's going to be posted right afterwards on YouTube and on Facebook. So you could always go back to it. Where on Facebook? On the main Creatively page. And then on YouTube, it'll be the latest video. Is there a link on your Facebook to your YouTube? Oh, good question. So I actually just made a post for one of my YouTube videos. So if you click on that, you'll get to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, guys, we don't have a custom link to our YouTube channel yet. We need 100 followers for that. So if you could help us by following our channel, it can be youtube.com slash creatively eventually. Hopefully. And also, guys, please let me know if you need me to slow down. So I'm adding some white around the edges of the mountains just because it wasn't popping enough here. Get it popping. I knew that was coming. Walk right into that. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more of the white onto the peaks. Maybe they're a little bit snowy. Who knows? I wonder where this mountain peak can be. Where? I wonder. <laughs> I thought you had an answer. Yeah, that's... It really sounded like you had an answer. It almost looks like sand dunes, not mountains. You know? Does it need to be sharper? I don't know. Maybe we have some weathered mountains. Not every mountain is Everest. That's right. So you guys are also welcome to use your small brush if you want to change the shapes a little bit of your mountains and get a little bit more detailed. And you could actually define the shape of it. 
with your smaller brush. So I'm gonna maybe bring out the shape of this one a little bit. Using either a light blue or ju just a white, depending on how light your mountains are at the top. Is that your front peak or a back peak? This is my front peak. I feel like my mountains are a little bit too smooth. But also because they're in the distance, there's not, you can't really see the texture of the mountains. It kind of all blends in. Because they have some gentle mountains. Yeah, they're just very gentle. And I just lightened this up too much, so I'm just gonna go back into it with the blue. So it's always, it's really easy to fix and just change to whatever you want it to be. So I basically have a light color at the top of the mountains and then I'm using a darker blue for the bottom and I'm blending those in. I think my favorite was the third one. But you don't the most high quality. Yeah, I have a high high quality taste. Bougie. <laughs> All right guys, how are you doing? Are you ready for the next step? Let's do it. Let me know in the comments if you still need more time. All right, I take silence as a let's move on. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to the hill and the tree. So it's really all gonna come together now. So I'm gonna take my large brush again I'm just gonna I'm gonna wash it because we're gonna be using black. I think a few people need more time. We could just hang out. We could just drink more whiskey. What do you think? You should take a big swig of that middle guy. It's gonna make me cough. You have water right there. <laughs> you see Kevin's comment. So someone is asking about the stars. So for the stars, I took two of my brushes and I washed them really well so there's no paint on them. And I dipped the large brush into the white just on the, on the tip of the brush. And then I dipped it back into water just to make it a little bit wetter. I'm gonna throw off some of the water. So then I'm putting my small brush on top of my large brush and I'm hitting it so that way the large brush splashes the paint. So I'm gonna just practice on my palette paper here. So you're hitting 
your large brush and then the splatters are going all over your palette paper and then you could take it up to your canvas so that's how you're getting these really cool stars and then an alternate method is just to splatter the paint with your finger so also i would advise you to Practice on your palette paper first and just see how it goes and then transfer it over to your canvas. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to use my large brush. I'm just going to wash it really well because it, now it has a lot of white on it. <laughs> so then I'm going to dip it into the black. And I'm going to create my hill over here. So your hill can be, it doesn't have to be a perfect quarter circle or whatever it is it could be a wavy line and then I'm just gonna color it in And then I'm going to take my small brush and I'm going to create some grass. You ready for the grass, Alex? I'm so ready. <laughs> All right, so for the grass, you're just going to take your small brush, you're going to start from the bottom and you're just going to create these curvy strokes going up in different directions and you're applying pretty light pressure to your brush so that way at the top it gets much thinner and these are going kind of in different directions all over the place you could get messy with it and you could make it as tall as you want That actually looks really cool on video. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> sometimes it looks you. worse on video, sometimes it looks better. <laughs> and you could apply some water to your brush just so it's easier for you to get those really thin strokes the water kind of helps with that and if you're using watercolor the water probably doesn't help because it's going to be the opposite of whatever we're doing now I'm kind of debating to leave it like that because it looks kind of cool. Just, that's it. That's the end of the painting. Fearless. Here we go. Hard audible. Why, why put a tree in there? Come on. Hard audible. All right, guys. Who's ready for the tree? It's a little bit intimidating because you're going to be creating a large shape on your canvas, but we're going to do it together and it's going to be okay. And it's going to be really easy. Right? Okay. Absolutely. So we're going to break it down into very simple shapes. 
So everyone knows how to do an S shape, right? You know, th- 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 that's a bold assumption. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to start off around, I guess, one third of your canvas. So probably around here or so. And you're going to create your S shape. So I'm just doing it with my brush in the air, but I'm just gonna do it here. And if I mess up, that's okay, because we can always fix it. So it's kind of, it's more of a backwards question mark than an S, I guess, right? I didn't say that. Because the curve of the S is not really visible here. That's a good interpretation. Right? So it's backwards question mark, S, whatever you want to call it. But that's kind of the shape, and you're going to make it thicker, but not all the way at the top. So it's going to get thicker at the bottom. So I'm just going to extend it a little bit. Like that. And actually, I'm, I'm going to make it even thicker than that. And I'm just going to color it in. So that was easy. It's just a curve. So it's just either a letter S or well, a backwards, well, Captain Hook a little action. hook. Well, Captain Hook action. That's, that's a good one, actually. Could be a hook. I'll be here all week. <laughs> How do you come up with that? I don't know. You just, you know, you got to let the... Free the mind, the creative juices. So while we are painting this, guys, has anyone seen our latest painting? It was just posted on our website yesterday. Ooh, ooh. Has anyone peeked? It hasn't been announced yet. A little sneak preview? A little sneak preview. Let that, that pre-album release drop. But for those of you guys who are subscribers, um, you guys know you actually voted for the theme of this painting. So we actually started something really cool um, last month where our subscribers vote for the theme of the next month's painting. So the theme that won was uh, Fall Birches. So I'll actually show you guys the painting for next month. Just gonna take this down. Even saving it till the end, huh? No. Wow. No. Okay. Hello. So this is gonna be the Hello. next month's painting. So this is month October. Yes. <laughs> and we've actually we had a hard time with the name of this painting. So right now it's Fallen Birches, but I feel like we could come up with something better than that. So if anyone has any suggestions for the name of this one, please let me know in the comments. We might be able to send you something cool if we end up using the name that you come up with. Um, so these brushes are really fun to paint. Um, there's a lot of texture going on here. So definitely join us for next month's painting. And if you guys have a name suggestion, let me know in the comments. It's definitely um, a contrast to the one that we're doing right now because it uses the opposite colors. Hey, you know, the reaction is uh, people are excited. People are excited, but we do need a name. We got one. I mean, we have a name, hey, but is I... Is it Birch or Birches? Bir so right now the Birch name Birch. is Fallen Birches. Fallen, Fallen Birch. with an apostrophe. Birches. Birches. Not Birch. Not Birch. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe 
San Francisco, you know. And this one was actually named by Alex. I'm not gonna That's lie. It's definitely not true. It's true. It's what? Hard what? false. What? Big time Negatron. Murchie's birches. Mm. Mm. I'll think about it, Jonna. Put that one in the back pocket. <laughs> Put that one in the pocket. All right, guys. So I'm going to extend this S. So I'm going to extend the branches all the way up to the moon. And I'm just going to create different branches stemming out of this trunk. And they're all going to be going in the direction of the moon. Like they're drawn to it? Yeah, it just has this magnetic pull. So feel free to get crazy with your branches and just make sure that you're not applying a lot of pressure with your brush so it really thins out at the end. And there could be a thicker branch here, for example, it doesn't have to be just one line. So I'm gonna color this one in. Hi, Luda. 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 All right, guys, so I'm making them thicker at the bottom and then thinning them out at the top. This is very, um, this is getting very Halloween y. It's like too early for that. But once we add the pink, it's gonna be. It's gonna bring it back to it's September. It's gonna bring it, exactly. It's gonna bring it back to September. So I'm just adding some branches. And guys, feel free to even overlap the moon. It doesn't need to fully show if you don't want it to. Okay. Okay. I see you thinking outside the box. I see you thinking creatively. So I'm just adding more and more branches to my tree. And not all of them are facing to the right. Some of them are going the opposite direction, but just in general, the tree is facing the moon. So I could still make some branches go the opposite way, as long as the majority of them are still going towards the moon. How's that magnetic pull? So no name suggestions yet? Come on, guys. We can do this. Is everyone just so busy painting, you think? I think so. We're just adult, adult beverages. We could only hope both, right? Hmm? We could only hope for both. We can only hope. So you guys could go as crazy as you want with these branches. Oh 
Autumn Secret. Ooh, okay. I see what you did there. So if your name actually ends up being chosen, we'll definitely send you a cool creatively swag piece if it's the winner. Is that enticing enough, Alex? I think so. I think so too. And I'm not going to say what that swag piece is going to be. It's going to be Autumn's Secret. Wow. 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 All right, guys. We're going to do a little highlight. Hold on. How do you do? Do the blue spots on the moon. Okay. Just so quick. So, Kristen, so I actually added just blue dots around the moon. Just all the way around, some in the middle. So, it looked kind of spotty, but then I went back in with the white and covered up most of them so it kind of blends it in. So let me know if that makes sense. Yeah. So someone's suggestion is Autumn on Fire. Ooh. Yeah. So we actually were playing around with what was it? Blaze and birches. Blaze and birches. And ring of birches. What? Ring of birches. Ring of birches? <laughs> I don't know. That was, was you. An outlier. <laughs> was an that outlier. was not a contender. I wanted to throw it out there. All right, guys. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my black, and I'm gonna make a light gray or maybe medium gray i don't know why this medium gray is not coming along there we go and then i'm just gonna add some highlights to the right side of my tree so i'm just going in with my small brush And I'm actually gonna go back in with the black and just blend it in a little bit because I feel like it's came out too intense. It's light then, huh? So if you added too much, you could always take away. It's just it's really easy. That actually looks pretty good on the screen, I'm not gonna lie. It looks wonderful. <laughs> and then I could go back in with the black and just add a little bit more of the grass right where the trunk is. Two, one, two. So I think our 
branches are pretty much dry so we're pretty much ready for the pink so I'm just gonna wash my small brush completely because I don't want I want to wash off all of the black color So then finally we're going to be using the red. Here we go. Finally some color. So you guys are welcome to use any color you want. You don't need to use pink if you don't want to. You could use orange. You could use yellow. You could even do green. So with green you just mix yellow and blue. Um, but we're going to be doing pink today. Does that make it a cherry blossom? So it's actually not a cherry blossom. Um, so I cherry know, blossoms... So cherry blossoms bloom in April, but so this was actually inspired by a tree that's growing right outside of our apartment building, which has those pink flowers in it. And I don't know what the name, of the name of the tree is, but it looks like it looks like this. <laughs> but it's not a cherry blossom, but it could be if you want it to be. So I'm going to take some red and I'm going to mix it with white to get a pink color. So I'm gonna get a nice pink color. This is too light, so I'm gonna add some more red to it. And then I'm going to go in here with dots. So just like you did the craters for the moon, you're going to go in here with your pink dots. And you're going to cover up some of the branches. <gasps> Bless you. I really need to edit that out. And the paint that you're using is pretty thick, so I'm not even using any water. My entire brush is pretty much covered with this pink color and I'm just dabbing on to the canvas and creating these flowers or leaves or whatever they are. And they're also, they're swing with the tree so they're all going towards the moon as well magnetic moon magnetic moon why didn't you think of that as a name I literally is that just better I with just that. is that better than dancing in the moonlight i don't know probably i don't think so that's because i let you know So that's why we arrived at Dancing with Moon. It just seems so appropriate at the time. So I'm just adding these pink dots to the tree and you could add as little or as much as you want. So if you want the tree to be fuller, you could just keep adding more. Um, but I want to leave a, some gaps in between because it is, it's almost autumn, right? So this tree is not as full. It's winding down. It's winding down. For a nice hibernation. I'm 
I'm just gonna mix more of this pink. And I'm gonna add some dots around so they look like they're flying from the tree and they're still gonna be going pretty much around the moon. And there's gonna be more dots towards the tree and fewer dots farther away. So it looks like they're spreading in the wind. I'm gonna add a few on top as well. I like that. Do you? And then there could also be some on this side as well. There's just a lot of a lot of wind here. And you guys could make it more textured by adding thicker paint onto here because some of my paint is a little bit thin so I'm just gonna go back in and I'm gonna add a little bit more So again, there's more leaves closer to the tree and they're spreading farther apart as they're flying off. That looks nice. On the camera? Yeah. You finished that light one. I did. Can you tell me what it's called? It's right there. Suzaki? No. I only see the the last part of the the name. Alright guys, so I'm, I'm washing my brush. I'm gonna add some white into the leaves as well. Hmm? I wonder where the light comes from. What do you mean? You said you're adding some white. Yeah, I'm adding some white to the top of the leaves just to give it some variation. Some white blossoms as well. Um, it could either be highlights or it could be different types of flowers. Interesting. It's all in your imagination. I feel like this painting is very surreal to begin with. You say very serene. Surreal. I know you say surreal. I don't know if I've seen many trees as an S shape for the trunk. It almost has like a, a Japanese feel like our whiskey. That's, that's true. Like a bonsai. Bonsai trees have like weird shapes to them. So I'm adding some white to the top of my tree just to give it some variation. So I'm also doing dots, but just in white. And you guys are welcome to use any colors that you want. So you can make your tree really colorful if you want to. This is where the yellow can maybe come in. Exactly. A couple yellow blossoms, a couple 
where you could blend the yellow with the red, and what do you get? Please don't test me. <laughs> you I should am know so this. Bad at this you should know this by yeah, now. Please don't test me. Just let them know the answer, otherwise it will we'll be here forever. <laughs> Wait, but for real, what's red and yellow? Orange. That makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so I'm also adding some white. around the moon as well. This is a very blooming tree. And then you guys could add another layer of blossoms um, if your layer is really light, just to bring it out a little bit and also add some texture to it. So feel free to use very thick paint for this. Can you add some blossoms on the water that have like fallen into the water? Ooh, you could, that's a good idea. Sometimes I have moments, moments of brilliance. <laughs> brief, brief moment. So I'm just going to add a few more of the pink dots just to thicken up the paint a little bit. So Alex, I think this is the last step. Oh baby. So the last step is just gonna be to sign your name at the bottom of the canvas. Where? Which Wherever one? you want. I think this corner would be perfect. You go put your initials there, you go put your whole name, whatever you want. Just make sure you're using the, the small brush for that. Was that your bottom right or bottom left? Bottom right. right into you the can water. make it in pink, you can make it in white. Whatever works best. I like it. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us. This was so much fun. I really want to see what all of you have created. So if you can, please post it on your social and tag Creatively Box. So that way we see it and we could also repost it. Right, Alex? Absolutely. And, and? to see your video, where will you post it? Oh, so this vi this video, this oh, tutorial? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this tutorial is going to be posted on Facebook and on YouTube. So if you guys are still working on it or if you want to revisit your painting tomorrow or a week from now or whatever it is, it's always going to be there. So thank you guys for joining and I hope to see you soon. Have Next a good night, month. guys. Hmm? Next month. Next month. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night.